Hey, what's up guys, Alan. Today's Q&A, we're gonna be talking about retaining your CD changer. All right, so we're just gonna hop right in and get to it. This question is from YouTube and it's from Reckless Nonsense. And uh, it's, it's not really spelt that way, but that's what I kind of figured it was. Uh, anyway, question is I have a two, uh, 2000 Grand Marquis and I'm thinking about an aftermarket radio. I don't know why you already don't have one. But the CD player is located in the trunk. I'm assuming you're talking about the CD changer. What do you recommend for a stereo? I prefer a double din, just saying. So, I know maybe the title of this Q&A may have been a little misleading um, because if you're trying to really retain your CD changer, I'm sorry, you can't. Um, you know, I get why you'd want to, and some people might want to. Um, unfortunately, our industry's gone way away from CDs and gone to downloads and streaming and MP3s, which quite frankly, if that's what you grew up on, you probably think those sound fantastic. But you know, if you've ever heard a, a CD for those people that know what CDs are, cause you know, if you ask, you know, some of the younger generation, what a CD is, they probably have never even seen one because they download all their music from iTunes or Spotify and, uh, or the internet and they've never seen a CD before. But uh, there was a thing at one time that was a CD and it was a round disc uh, and they sounded really good. So I totally get why you'd want to keep it. Um, however, since the industry's really gotten away, with there, away from that, there's really no retaining anything. So I don't care what kind of car you have, CD changers or CD players, maybe it is a single disc, maybe it's a multi-disc. If it's in the trunk, if it's in the glove box, if it's in the center console, maybe it's under the seat, I don't know. But you're not gonna be able to, if you wanna change your factory radio, you're not gonna be able to integrate the aftermarket radio to the factory CD changer. So right then and there, that already kills it. I'm sorry, I know. But uh, the good news is your new aftermarket radio is gonna be so much better than your factory one in your 2000 Grand Marquis. So it in sense, you know, is really gonna sound better anyway. Um, but uh, brands you might wanna look for, I recommend sticking with your mainstream brands like Pioneer, Alpine, Clarion, Sony, JVC, Kenwood, etc. If you go with any name brand like that, you're definitely gonna get yourself a great radio. In terms of a model, there's really no point in me saying a particular model because there's so many features. And a double din, you can get a double din without a screen, with a screen, with nav, without, etc. Uh, Bluetooth, no Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary. I could go on forever in terms of features. Some have more add-on capability than others. But really, definitely, if you stick with kind of your like your call brands, you're gonna get yourself a great deck buy something that has the features that is really gonna appeal to you for what you need and your listening needs. So most radios nowadays pretty much have Bluetooth. They've got USB that work for iPod. Some of them are even working for Android phones now, which is cool if you're an Android user. Almost every radio has an auxiliary now. So there's so many ways to get your music uh, from you know your, your multimedia device to the head unit. And of course, most radios still at least have a single, a single CD player which is good for you if you're gonna use your changer. Um, but if you don't care about CDs at all, there even is units that you can get that are called mechless, which have no CD mechanism whatsoever. It's basically a multimedia head unit, and pretty much you're gonna use your iPod or your iPhone or your Android phone, USB stick, etc., to play your music. Anyway, that should answer your question. Um, obviously, make sure you subscribe. Thank you, Reckless Nonsense, for your question. And uh, keep them coming. Uh, subscribe to all of our social media channels. I'm Alan. I'll see you next time.